In 1970, as a new freshman at BYU, I enrolled in a beginning course on the essentials of physics, taught by Jay Balaf, an outstanding professor. After finishing each unit of the course, he would administer an exam. If a student received a C and wanted a better grade, Professor Balaf would allow the student to take a modified exam covering the same material. If the student received a B on the second attempt and was still unsatisfied, he could take the test a third time and a fourth and so on. By allowing me numerous second chances, he helped me excel and finally earn an A in his class. He was an uncommonly wise professor who inspired his students to keep trying, to consider failure as a tutor, not as a tragedy, and to not fear failure, but to learn from it. Recently, I telephoned this great man, 47 years after taking his physics course. I asked him why he was willing to allow students unlimited attempts to improve their grade. His response, I wanted to be on the same side as the students. While we are grateful for second chances following mistakes or failures of the mind, we stand all amazed at the Savior's grace in giving us second chances in overcoming sin or failures of the heart. No one is more on our side than the Savior. He allows us to take and keep retaking His exams. To become like Him will require countless second chances in our day-to-day -day struggles with the natural man, such as con controlling appetites, learning patience and forgiveness, overcoming slothfulness, avoiding sins of omission, just to name a few. If to err is human nature, how many failures will it take us until our nature is no longer human but divine? Thousands? More likely, a million.